Another day at the garden for Nigeria's first lady, Olura Mitinumbo. Under a tender care, the once little garden that she unveiled in July this year is now lush green, her vegetables blossoming and ripe for the taking. Get all my okra today. Unlike other days when her delicate fingers were busy weeding and pruning, today she is here to pluck and harvest. And then we're able to get some okra, which you can see. I know you will want some yourself. Okay, we have to share this because this will go for two people. A first-time farmer, she is excited about the progress of her garden. Oh, it's doing well because we've harvested, we've given a lot to people. It's doing well. Even the, this, the um, jute leaves, which we call a wedu, a regular wedu, this will be the third or second time that we'll be, you know, trying to harvest it. And it's just growing. So we are very grateful, even the bitter leaf. The only thing we haven't touched is the lemongrass. So I'm thinking maybe it can grow some more. This okra, fresh from a garden at the day's peak, for her, they validate a conviction that the food drive by the federal government can succeed if more Nigerians embrace the concept of home or smart gardening. With a winner in the Every Home Garden competition set to emerge in December this year, the process to select the winning entry is in top gear. So our staff are going to be visiting our three winners. So we'll go and make sure we cite the garden, that the garden is there, is still functional. So if mine is still functional, so I don't see any reason. So it's not just for the money. And uh, possibly all the people who sent in entries, uh, they are like some agencies that want to work with all these women, with every home and garden, they said. But I said, you know, they should work with the farmers more than because having a garden in your home is just um, something that is expected of us to do. And then um, I'm glad that we are back there. Well beyond the competition, Nigerians, the First Lady says, are expected to retain their love for home or smart garden. Once you start, you will see you just keep going. Trust me. I don't have to force anybody. I never force anybody to do anything. It has to flow from me. I didn't grow their garden. And if their garden is producing well, they will continue. You grow when you have enough. Share with your neighbor. Produce something, if it's what you love to eat the most. Like the popular saying goes, what you sow, you shall reap. The question is, are you sowing something? Thank you.